I'm Ken Rogoff. I'm a professor of economics at Harvard University. I work on financial crises. I have a wonderful wife and two children. I used to be a professional chess player in my youth. I'm still an international grandmaster of chess. It helps me a little bit in economics. Well, someone described to me once trying to solve a financial crisis as you're trying to play chess blindfolded against someone else who is better than you, and then the chessboard is moving like this, you know, and you're switching positions all the time. There are certain things like negotiation where, like other sports analogies, chess teaches you to think what the other person's thinking. Oh! No, no, it's not, it's not bad. No, it's no, not no. bad. Let's talk about right now trying to solve a financial crisis. Sometimes you're making a move out of desperation just to stay in the game, and sometimes you're making a move for strategy. Sometimes it's like what we call a forced move. If you don't do this, it's checkmate. It's over. In the heat of a financial crisis, when there were things that just had to be done, the banking system's falling apart, it's clear you have to back the banks to some That's extent. That's a forced move. Monetary policy has to loosen up. And in some ways, if you look at America today, you know, we don't just need to react to the immediate force moves. You can't do that again and again and again. We need a, a longer term strategic vision. How do you feel right now about the gathering storm, what we're seeing right now in the economy? What is your experience of financial crises telling you about how serious this moment is? The good news is that today's leaders, today's market participants, everybody just saw a layman. Most of them lived through it. They don't need to be told again what right. could happen. The bad news is we are at a, a precarious moment where growth is likely to be much slower, and at the same time, we hope that it won't be a collapse, but it's a very risky moment with what's going on in Europe. Uh, Greece will likely eventually fall out of the euro. You think so? They'll be out? Uh, eventually, absolutely. And they don't really have a plan.